Hey, congratulations. We have now entered the age of super slim foldable phones. Until today, we had the Huawei Mate X3 topping the thinnest foldable phone chart, followed by last year's Xiaomi Mix Fold 2, with the more recent Google Pixel Fold coming third. Well, guess what? We now have a new champion. Meet the Honor Magic V2, which is not only less than one centimeter thick when folded, but it's also lighter than the iPhone 14 Pro Max or the Galaxy S23 Ultra. For a foldable phone, that is rather impressive. So let's take a closer look. Ahead of today's launch event, I got to preview the Magic V2 at Honor's headquarters in Shenzhen. And as someone who's been using a Xiaomi Mix Fold 2 for 10 months, I was very surprised by how thin and light this new phone was. It's almost as if it was like an ordinary smartphone when folded. Likewise, the hinge was surprisingly sturdy, given how slim the device was. On paper, the Magic V2 is only 9.9 millimeters thick when folded. Yes, that's less than one centimeter. Not bad, right? Then when you open it, the device is only 4.7 millimeters thick. I mean, the Huawei Mate X3 was 5.3 millimeters thick, and I thought that had already hit the limit before they had to shave into the USB port. As for weight, the Magic V2 measures just 231 grams, beating its closest competitors by a few grams. Sure, that's still heavier than most other standard candy bar phones, but this is already lighter than some of the premium flagships, which is a big milestone for the foldable phone category. So how did Honor achieve this? The short answer is that its R&D team had to find ways to slim down pretty much all the essential components, with the hinge and battery being some of their biggest challenges. For the new hinge, the team had to use a mix of 3D printed titanium parts and proprietary steel bits. Together with the flexible display panel, the Magic V2 has been certified to last for over 400,000 folds, apparently doubling that of the Pixel Fold and Galaxy Z Fold 4. What's more, the hinge can also stop at almost any angle for some special split-screen use cases, like taking photos while you're reviewing your recent shots, for instance. But to me, the battery design here is even more interesting. Thanks to silicon carbon battery tech, you get a total capacity of 5,000 milliamp hours, which is a new record amongst foldable phones. As a bonus, you get 66 watt fast charging here, but there's no wireless charging, likely because of the aggressive thickness target. The rest of the phone is very much on par with the other recent foldables. It runs on Android 13, you get a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, up to one terabyte of storage, NFC, three microphones, infrared remote, and more. In terms of displays, it's a 6.43 inch OLED screen on the outside. And when you unfold, you'll see a wider 7.92 inch flexible OLED screen with a near invisible crease. Both screens support stylus input, but you will have to buy an active pen separately unless you get the ultimate edition from China. As for photography, the rear facing lots consist of a 50 megapixel main camera with optical stabilization, a 50 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 20 megapixel 2.5 times zoom telephoto camera, also with optical stabilization. Both the external and internal screens have a 16 megapixel selfie camera each, so you can do video calls however you want. The Honor Magic V2 is now up for pre-orders in China, but in terms of global launch, even though the demo units I played with had Google services pre-installed, the company wasn't able to confirm whether we'll be getting an international version of this impressive piece of kit. Perhaps we will hear more at IFA come September, so stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit subscribe and check out more smartphone news on engadget.com.